Hey, I'm Sam. And I'm Sammy. And we're the owners of Winston's Pipe and Cigar Emporium. And we're here with the uh, inaugural uh, episode of our new uh, video series. Where we're going to talk, we'll be talking about some tasting notes on some cigars. The cigar we're tasting today is the Arturo Fuente 858 Sun Grown. It's one of my favorite cigars. The 858 Sun Grown from Fuente is uh, a slightly limited edition cigar. They're not, they're not available all the time. Uh, but we typically have them here stocked at the shop. And it's just such a delicious cigar. That 858 uh, size. It's a 47 by 6 and a fourth. The 858 Sun Grown has a Sun Grown wrapper on it, if you can imagine. They're real clever with their, with their marketing on that one. Yes. Yeah, very good. Which, of course, the Sun Grown wrapper is going to be a little bit uh, thicker, a little heartier. It's going to be a little richer in flavor, a little bit more spice with it, a little bit more strength typically with them. Uh, but that's just. Uh, you know, our initial kind of impressions on it, and we're gonna. And this particular cigar also comes in a natural Maduro and Candela. So, we're gonna smoke this sucker and give you guys some pretty good notes. Damn. I get 17 runs. We're back here, uh, kind of making it through about the first uh, third, <coughs> excuse me, of uh, the uh, Arturo Fuente 858 Sun Grown. Uh, I pierced mine with uh, one of the Bizarre uh, piercers. Really like to pierce cigars. Really kind of taste the wrapper on your, on your lips that way. Uh, especially with the Fuente. Especially with the Fuente. Especially with the Sun Grown. That, that sweetness that comes off that that Sun Grown wrapper, especially. Um, cold draw, very nice, you know, a little bit of restriction on the draw, but, but, but like, like you want, uh, not completely open, definitely not, uh, not plugged or anything. Um, and that cold draw tastes, a little bit of sweetness to it, uh, cedar, uh, always get cedar off, off of these. Um, spoken this far in, you know, I'm getting that, still that sweetness that's there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a sugar sweetness or even a maple sweetness, just kind of a... Just a, a natural just, sweetness yeah. from the wrapper, from the fermentation process and the aging process. Uh, right, it's exactly. A uh, little bit of spice, but not like cayenne pepper spice spice. But we put it like that cedar burning spice or something like that. You know, what, what are you getting on? on you know, everyone's palate is different. Uh, when I smoke this cigar, I really get kind of a chocolatey aroma and more of a creamy taste, which I guess isn't as characteristic from, I guess, a sun-grown wrapper. Yeah. You know, I, get, I just did a little retro hail there, and I get a little bit of that, like, a, yeah. like, a, like an unsweetened dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, not, not, like, not like milk chocolate, mm -hmm. yeah. But there's still some sweet there. Yeah, interesting. Finishing up these uh, 858 Sun Growns from uh, Arturo Fuente. Say the, you know, burn on mine has been has been very good. It was a little wavy at first, but it corrected itself out. Nice straight even burn line. Taste profiles really to me has stayed the same throughout the cigar, and that's one of the things I've always liked about this. A very consistent cigar. You know, staying with some a uh, uh, little bit of spice, kind of cedariness to it. Well, I, you know, the chocolate you mentioned, I'm picturing up a little bit of that still. still. Getting it. And so that nice, nice sweetness to it, sweetness to the wrapper, and a little bit of smoke as well. Not as creamy towards the end, but still get the chocolate it, taste. It gets a little bit fuller bodied on its yeah. way through, but I'd I call agree. this a medium cigar. I, to, to, in my palate, you know, this is just a solid medium as well. Well, to me, I predominantly smoke bold cigars. So if I was going to recommend this to someone who smokes a bolder stick, I would say it's more in the light to medium-ish category. If you are predominantly a mild cigar smoker, this is definitely a full medium. Um, I had one little issue with this per cigar. I followed the vein just for a while, but obviously it corrected itself beautifully. And you can tell I'm almost done with it and the crown is still perfect. Um, it's just a good cigar. Still, as far as I smoke it, I can still taste the sweetness in the tip of this wrap. And that is something I look for. And this can't beat it. Good stuff. <clears throat> Fuente makes some great cigars. 858 Sun Grown, one of my, one of my personal favorites. Uh, 
be sure to like uh, and subscribe uh, to our uh, YouTube channel here. We'll be posting these blogs on our uh, on our website, which is winstonspipeandcigar.com. And sign up for our mailing list. It's a tough job.